Hello everyone, this is Govind Krishna and as usual, let me welcome you to yet another exciting episode of Green Sector. And I entered the Indian market when it was the right time and with the right product. That was way back in 1998 when they launched the Santro. The Santro was actually a big hit and why? Because it broke the monotony and the monopoly at the same time with unique features, distinctive styling and competitive pricing. Now when Hyundai i20 was introduced, it soon became an instant hit, even though being placed in a premium hatchback segment. Now this is 2014 and Hyundai has come up with the uplifted or rather the facelifted version of the i20 and this is called the Elite i20. Let's take a look. So speaking about the styling of the new Hyundai Elite i20, one look at the car and you will fall in love with the design. This is an entirely new car in terms of design. This is what Hyundai calls the Fluidic Sculpture version 2. Let's have a look. Hyundai believes the previous generation i20 had a youthful, sporty and high-tech stance and now while retaining the same characteristics of the styling, they are promoting the Elite i20 with a bold, dynamic and powerful image. The front profile looks imposing with a hexagonal grille having a honeycomb mesh and chrome outlining. The wide, swept-back headlamps integrate reflectors on the top that act as Fox daytime running lights because DRLs are not being offered with the new generation i20 as opposed to the outgoing model. The bonnet has strong creases that add to the visual appeal. There is a pause between the bonnet and bumper on the nose that houses the Hyundai badge neatly. At the lower end, you'll find trapezoidal fog lamps with sharp bumper lid. The side profile reveals the sporty stance of the Elite i20 which appears forward leaning. The 16-inch diamond cut alloys look premium and fill the wheel arches very well while the ORVMs have integrated turn indicators. There is a strong shoulder line that emerges from the headlight and continues upwards to the tail lights. The black and B and C pillars give the sense of a floating roof and we quite like it but it is a Lavito hated styling cue. It's integrated neatly to the body but the panel itself feels plasticky and boxy when you knock it. That said, the rear styling of the Elite i20 definitely grabs attention with its broad stance and big car feel. The three-step detailing on the huge tail lamps looks upmarket and the bumper gets busy styling integrated with reflectors and one side reverse lamp. The rear parking camera is protruding in the middle and further down is the hatch opening button. The Hyundai logo integrating the button with a hidden camera would have made the tailgate look cleaner. The Elite i20 is 10mm shorter and 24mm wider with a 45mm longer wheelbase. Now speaking about the interiors, step inside the cabin and the word premium oozes out from every nook and corner. The materials, the quality of the materials used is really, really premium. You'll feel that you're sitting in a car that's above this segment when you get inside the new Elite i20 and Hyundai has put a hell lot of features that you normally won't see in, in this segment in, in the new Hyundai Elite i20. The design of the dashboard is driver-oriented which makes you feel connected to the center console. The design of the 3-spoke tilt and telescopic steering wheel can also be seen on the Grand i10 but this one has a different layout of controls and chrome outlining on the horn pad. 
The instrument cluster is neat and folds easy on the eyes with analog tachometer and speedometer having digital temperature and fuel gauge on either side. The party piece of the instrument cluster is the MID screen in the middle that displays a host of information you can think of a car in this segment. No wonder Hyundai calls it Supervision Cluster. It has steering position reminder so that you are aware of the wheels before you start moving. You can set your service reminder. It also has parking sensor display, doors open close display, settings for auto unlock, dual trip meter, gear shift indicator and much more. The AC vents are positioned ergonomically and the steering doesn't obstruct the airflow for the driver. Automatic climate control works smoothly and chills the cabin within no time. The center console has a serene, uncluttered design and each button and control are placed ergonomically. The new Hyundai Elite i20 comes with two different engine options, the 1.2 litre dual VTVT Kappa petrol engine which produces a maximum power output of 83 PS at 6000 RPM and a maximum torque of 115 Nm at 4000 RPM. Now there is another engine which is the diesel engine, the U2CADI diesel engine, it's a 1.4 litre engine and it produces a maximum power output of 90 PS at 4000 RPM and a maximum torque of 220 Nm ranging from 1500 to 2750 RPM. The petrol engine is mated to a 5-speed manual gearbox and the diesel engine is connected or mated to a 6-speed manual gearbox. The Hyundai Elite i20 hasn't been tested by Global NCAP yet, but the first generation Eurospec i20 got a full 5 star crash test during the Euro NCAP. The sad thing is that Hyundai India doesn't offer 6 airbags anymore, and the Elite i20 now comes with only dual front airbags, that too on the Asta variant. While only sports and sports option get driver side airbag. ABS is also offered only with sports, sports so, and Asta variants, while the ERA and Magna don't get any safety features. The Elite i20 comes with smart pedal that overrides the accelerator pedal during simultaneous operation of brake and accelerator during panic braking. It also comes with impact sensing door unlock feature that unlocks the door automatically in case of collision. Now coming to the conclusion about the new Elite i20, the bigger, better, feature rich i20. Now i20 is a premium hatchback and this particular segment also has cars like Volkswagen Polo, Fiat Punto, Evo and the Maruti Swift coming here. Now Elite i20 I believe is definitely a well rounded package. Definitely the pricing is a bit aggressive but it is absolutely a value for money package where you get a host of features that you don't see in any other car in this segment and the styling which is absolutely amazing. You get predictable drive and handling which is far better than the earlier version. And overall, if you think, I believe in this segment right now, the ruler is the Elite i20.